okay this is gonna be a real quick video just the track showed up here about an hour ago we just got done unloading them and got the driver sent on his way um and while he was waiting there while we were waiting for him to get here i got the head switched over so it'll run on this there's a couple changes a couple small changes i had to make because naturally some things change when they jump to the next series so but that's all on or that will all run on here now with the exception of by the time they got to this machine they had electric real speed control with a toggle switch so i can't run the real speed on this from the cab which is a little bit of a kind of sucks but i don't actually usually change it that much anyhow because but anyway that's ready to go tracks are here uh there's almost nine feet or actually it's nine feet overall like there's like seven and a half feet of pad on the ground it ought to not sink anymore um 20 inch or 24 inch grousers sprockets are good rails are good i did notice there's like you get in here there's a couple loose uh cleats but nothing nothing you wouldn't expect out of a set of 40 year old combine tracks that have been around for a minute um and this is the combine mover she's seen a little sure she's seen some better days but it'll get it'll get me it'll get me going anyhow um i already got tires lined up for this thing um for some reason they took all the brakes and crap out of that wheel when they built this but they didn't take all the brakes and crap out of this wheel so the brakes are hung up so we got to get that backing plate cut off of there and knock all the brakes out and then that wheel should free up um when he when he loaded this thing um the ramps on this for 11 foot something 11 foot nine i think he said so in order to get it to a legal width so they didn't have to worry about over width permits or trying to stand it up to load it or whatever i just told them whatever you got to do to make it make it load legal so he cut the ramps right here behind the tires that's what those are so we'll have to weld those back on but that's no big deal right now this is obviously upside down so weld the ramps back on and flip it back over it pins to the frame right here where those holes are obviously that's just a two old two ton truck frame um that's the pivot pin that's the lock pin that you slide in da, 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 da. slide in that bottom hole right there once you drive once you cam over center because this is a obviously a tilt tilt ramp um so you slide your pin in there that way you can't tilt back while you're transporting um here's the track wrench so and these are those are the subframes um apparently these things were not 100 percent originally intended for a white combine because the subframes have been modified uh originally you now they cut some off of this but originally whatever it bolted to use this flange here and four bolts and then there must have been a strut that went back and then a plate that bolted here and all this up here has been added so it catches four bolts on what we believe is right behind the final drive um but we got to get a tire off because the guy we bought this from um it's been so long since they don't even obviously don't even have the combine anymore it's been so long since they had to have them on he he was vaguely remembering how they all went how everything all went together but it catches four bolts on the final on the back of the final drive or on the back of the axle spacer one of the two we need to figure out which one and then we'll have to weld some plates on the axle to catch these um and obviously whatever this thing was on to begin with must not have been symmetrical um side to side because this subframe has a rank in it and it gets back behind that axle and bends up which that would have had to have taken one heck of a press because that's a four inch solid shaft and it's got like a 25 degree bend in it um and then this one's just straight so whatever it was on originally was not a white but whenever they whenever they did the conversion they must have bought the correct sprockets to bolt them on because the sprockets show no signs that the hubs have ever been cut out and new hubs welded in so um don't necessarily like these subframes um whatever we do is probably going to be put on in such a way that it's going to be easily cut offable and eventually we will probably remake a heavier subframe 
that's a little bit cleaner not so ugly um but for now if we can get those on there and get them working and get me up and running they'll work for now and we can worry about making it pretty later so um yeah we're i got use of a buddy shop for a while so hopefully we can hammer this out um in relatively short fashion uh dad had to go run some errands real quick i'm gonna get the head drop back off the combine so i'm just gonna leave that here we'll get the combine run over to his shop um hopefully yet tonight we can get a tire off and get a sprocket on and look and see how everything's gonna fit together here um so i'm gonna try to video as much of this as i can but it's gonna kind of be a get this done as quickly as possible sort of deal so it's not probably going to be a very in-depth video but i'm going to do what i can for you guys so anyhow um with that being said i'm going to get some stuff cleaned up here organized here and um get ready to move stuff over to the shop so that we're working inside because if we got to do any welding can't do it in this wind um so anyhow um like i say tracks are here we're hopefully moving in the right direction hopefully we can get something functional done this weekend so um with that being said that's it for this one and we'll catch you guys on the next one hopefully putting tracks on as long as we're successful and there's nothing major that needs reworked hopefully not the only thing the only thing that could throw a hickey into things is it would depend on what axle spacers that combine ran i'm not sure how many sizes there were um that would be the biggest the biggest hiccup so we'll just have to see how things work out hopefully nothing major so with that being said that's it for this one we'll catch you guys on the next one we'll see how things go